Hey guys, my name is Venu and in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to remove this unrecognized MS resource app list name from our Windows PC. There are few solutions that you can use to fix these kind of issues. If one of them doesn't work, try the next one. As for the first solution, you have to open the Windows PowerShell with admin access and then enter the following command. It will take few minutes to finish and so you have to be patient until it's done. I may have given the comments in the description below, so you guys can just copy paste it if you want. Once it's done, restart your Windows Explorer process and check the results. And if it doesn't work, try the next solution. The second solution is kind of similar one but this time you may have to execute multiple commands one by one in powershell with admin access. Once you've executed all the commands, restart your PC and check the results. If it doesn't work, check the next solution. You may ask like, why can't we just execute all the commands from all solutions and check the results in the end? For that, my answer is, it's not like we have to eat every medicine in order to cure one disease. If you are lucky, the problem will be solved within the first solution. But if it doesn't work, you can always try the next one. This is the third solution, it's also similar to the previous one but we have to execute only one command in the powershell with admin mode. These problems mostly happening because of a bug from our windows update. Even if this solution doesn't work, you can always try the final solution. Because it most likely works for me. Because it did work for me, so. This is the fourth solution, this one is a little bit different from all the previous ones. To make this work, you have to open the run program. For that, you have to either search this word in the start menu or press the windows and or key at the same time. It will open the run program and then you have to execute the following command. And this command will open a folder. There you can find a folder called temp state. You have to open that folder and remove the files inside of it. If some of the files are unavailable to remove, then you can just skip them, it doesn't matter. And then restart your Windows Explorer and check the results. As you guys can see, it worked for me perfectly fine. And I hope this helps you guys, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments below and subscribe to our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video and bye.